Hello guys, welcome to another video. As you may saw in the last video, I just solved the issue with the wipers over there. They were having a stupid behavior <laughs> and on intermittent. And now I will show you how to assemble all of this and fine tune the position of the wipers. The assembly, the whole mechanism for the wipers and the wiper arms themselves sometimes may be uh, in the wrong position in creating a bad wiping pattern. So on this video, let me give you the tips that I know so far about these issues and uh, stay tuned for this, okay? So we have here the, the motor, the electrical motor, all repaired, okay? If you want to see what's ha what happened to this motor, I'll leave you the link down on the description so you can understand. And now I have this mechanism over here, very old and crusty, but uh, it is working. It has out of play over there and over there, but that will be solved in another video. I cannot do everything at once, as you may understand, okay? So the issue here is, how can you find the position, the correct position to assemble all of this. Once you are assembling, how can you make sure everything stays put so you too can have a perfect assembly? Because sometimes when assembling this stuff, what happens is, as you command the wipers to go on, sometimes the wiper firstly goes down and then goes up, does a cycle and stops. And then goes down, does this, the cycle and stops again, down. But obviously that is not the way that it's supposed to be done. It has to start from a fixed point, up, cycle, down, stop. Okay, and this is the procedure to assemble everything as it should be done. This will do for all cars, okay? So the first thing you want to do is to assemble the motor onto the wiring and make sure it is stopped at the stop position, okay? So turning on the ignition, you do, for example, just a pass and you can uh, hear and feel the motor stopped on its own, okay? Now this is the perfect time to disconnect the motor and start the assemble procedure. Okay, so now you want to find out how does this work manually, okay? So you know you have your wipers, your wiper arms connected to these two uh, broms over here and you know if they are connected over here as soon as you do this the wipers go like this okay so for left hand drive cars you have to have these bars pointing to the opposite port the direction of the blades so the blades are like this and you have this mechanism to the other side so as soon as the motor turns this uh, part over here it will create this movement over here can you understand this Okay, now the crucial part is the assembly of the motor to this assembly, okay? To do that, you want to maintain this position of this part over here. This part will... the difficulty is really on this part over here, because it has to be assembled underneath this plate. And that is the way that people do it wrong, because people normally do it like this, and then to gain access to the, to the nut, that goes on top of here, that goes to that shaft, they do it like this. And that is the way that uh, as soon as you turn on the wipers, first it goes down and then it goes up onto the windshield. So you will want to have this on the most horizontal, more straight position possible to do the assembly. But first, let's assemble the motor onto this. So do not forget the cover over here, very important for the water from the rain. The motor is on the correct position in the relationship to the shaft and in the relationship to the, the assembly over here. If you have doubts, go onto the car and try to fit it to see the space available. I know it by heart, it is like this. And just screw it on and you can, in fact, tighten down all the three bolts. Now, this is the most crucial moment of the assembly of this, okay? So, as you can see, I can have multiple positions on these bars but only one position is correct. It is the, the position where the bars go all the way to that side and this bar and this one, this lower one, both of them are exactly aligned with each other. To help you out to put in the washer and the nut, you can in fact do this, put in the washer and the nut, do not tighten uh, all the way, not even close, just to be able to do like this and now with the wrench actually tight it down 
okay the next problem is as you are tightening down really tight it may slip so you will want to have a wrench that is the size of that bar normally 22 21 thereabouts okay so you can have actually sure that you are tightening down without slipping on any way and that's it the next tip is if you think that thing moved if you think a mistake was made as you are taking it out again you must restart everything from scratch i mean you have to go to the car again you have to reset again the motor the electrical motor to make sure it is in fact on the zero position on the rest position okay and then try again this, this is very easy to do just with practice you will be able to do this with much ease The next thing you want to do is to again go inside of the car and pull on the lever to make sure this is on the correct position because as you can see I can reach here and put it in the wrong position. In this way if it is on the, in the wrong position also the wiper arm will be uh, in the wrong position as well. So to do to see when it is okay and also to see if the direction of the assembly was assembled correctly just put a bit of a, a tape over there and see and then this way you can see this is working correctly it's beginning at the, the end of the windshield and going all the way and going back again and in this way again I can see that the assembly is correct and it does not go down and then up maybe just maybe a little bit down on there and this way again you just need to have uh, absolutely sure that the motor stopped in the rest position so you switch everything off on the ignition just a, a touch on the cleaning cycle you can hear the engine go, go on and off once it's off you can turn off the ignition and now assemble the wipers and the wiper arms now this is a nice drawing uh, almost <laughs> we were working on this assembly over here this black section over there in the last video we did repair this motor over here and now we work between the motor and the assembly the next part we will assemble is the wiper arms and the wipers themselves this is really not to scale but it is it is a bit exaggerated so you understand better first of all notice the position of the shafts that go to the wiper arm this is the wiper arm in, in red okay they are very close to one side of the car. Even the one that is closer to the middle of the car is really not so close to the middle of the car, okay? So, that being said, this one being so close to the driver, the wiper arm has a length that is short because it does not read, need to reach that, that far. It just need to reach, like the driver, this is the wiper arm, not the wiper itself. This is the wiper arm of the passenger so as it goes up it does not need to go very far you just need to go right in front of the driver the passenger one needs to go very far okay so this length is very short and this length is very long when you are in doubt take out both of them compare it in length the shorter one ignore the wiper uh, thus far okay the shorter one is always on the driver's side okay always sometimes what happened in the past is both of them have the same length but sometimes even having the same length the passenger one has a slight bend to it to reach further on top of the windshield that is the case of most cars even this alpha 155 okay i hope i hope you can understand this so on the case of the wipers in black you have the wiper arm very close to the driver, but now you have a very large section to clean. So the longer wiper itself is near the driver and the shorter one is near the passenger, okay? 
So short and long, long and short. It's very, very easy. And sometimes what happens when people switch out the windshield, they switch out the, the both assemblies and then they don't understand what's happening sometimes. So what happens if you switch out all of this, you end up with a very long arm, okay? And a very short wiper. And on this side, a very short arm with a very long wiper. Can you see the problem here? This is the path of the wipers. You have on the driver's side a very small and short wiper clean. And on the, the passenger side, yes, you have a big one, but it stops and sometimes it passes through the windshield. That happens a lot, yes. That is because someone mismatched all of that stuff. So, to start from scratch, short, long, long, short, yes? Driver, passenger. So here on the 156, the wiper arm is shorter. That is on the other side. And on the other side, it has this kink. As I told you, also the, the wiper themselves. This is a little bit longer. That is on the other side. Okay. So this is a straight, kind of straight arm. And that one is curved and longer. So here on the Alpha 155, they are nearly identical. This is the special ones. Okay. And here being almost identical what counts is the bends that the arms have okay and for that as you can notice i have a bend over there that is for the arms to fit in each other so i have here some lettering that is in italian i believe so c for driver in this way okay and p for passenger that way okay the other option because you can see the kink over here okay the other option for the alpha 155 is this normal ones the same length wipers these are the same also on the 33 uh, correction on the alpha 155 the arms are different but the wipers are the same as it, as it has the normal uh, wiper arms the regular ones okay so this is all the same same length same everything so no worries about over here or there or there only on more modern cars and here you have it i see you on the next one guys bye